Hey, yo, what is up, everybody? This is Jumpin' here, and today this is going to be another Platinum gameplay. Today, this is going to be the start of not a new series, but a somewhat of a series, like a mini-series. This is going to be Platinum Role Players. Today, the first one is going to be the Krogan Vanguard, and he's going to be using the new shotgun, the Piranha. I think we all know this gun is extremely good, and um, the weapons mods is always going to stay the same for me. It's pretty much going to be damage and accuracy. You really need it for this gun. And that's just what it is. And then for his build, the build's a little different for Platinum Standards. Uh, I definitely like Radius uh, just to hit a billion targets. And then also uh, Weapon Synergy because he's a tank. And Barrier. So that's pretty much it for Charge. That is very effective. And then now for Barrier itself, uh, definitely always go into Barrier Strength. I just recommend this to stay on and help you with defense definitely go for power synergy and then finally barrier strength that's a grand total of 40 percent damage reduction which is really good for him um for the krogan battle master go for damage and capacity and then power damage um just to help him out and then finally weapons damage it's pretty balanced 20 percent weapon 35 percent power now for rage definitely durability this he's a tank he's that's his job Martial artist. Now I do kind of recommend that uh, you don't. You can charge to get your shield back, so why not just go for that? And then finally, fitness expert, just to give him the maximum health and shields, which is 1850, which is really really awesome. All right, now for the equipment, I'm going to be using armor piercing three. Unfortunately, you normally do have to use armor piercing three with this gun. Shotgun rail lamp three. Um, and then berserker package five. I don't really recommend meleeing a lot, but I don't have shotgun amp. I would recommend shotgun amp over anything else. And then finally, the old shield booster equipment four. That's 150%. All right, so let's get into the gameplay. Alrighty, so like I was saying, um, the old shield booster four is so amazing. Um, pretty much because it gives you 150% more shields. Um, this guy, everything goes off of base, guys. Just the base damage, base shields, and his base shields are 1,000. So 150% more is an additional 1,500. So that's 2,500 right there. Plus, you got to go, for, you know, you got to count in the passive um, rage abilities. So that that's, I, I believe it's 850 total right there. The total number is 3,250. Which makes him an unbelievable tank. I mean, he is just so hard to kill. Uh, enemies just have so... I mean, the enemy... That is the role, though. Like I said, the name of this... Well, the idea of this little series, like this little mini-series thing, is that it's just going to be about platinum role players. Pretty much different characters in the game that you can play on platinum and are just very important role players for platinum. Because that, that really does matter to me. Now... Unfortunately, one thing about this um, game right now, what, what I'm noticing, and what I kind of dislike, and I don't really know how you guys feel, you can comment and tell me, but how do you feel about Platinum gameplays? Like, do you even want to see these, honestly? Because, of course, I, I actually really do like playing Platinum. Like, I, I would prefer just to only play Platinum now, if possible. Um, but, the downside is, I just don't know how you guys feel about Platinum. Because, I would think, you know, everyone always says, oh, jumping, I don't have a group of people to play with. It's hard to, like, have teamwork with randoms, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I, I understand your pain. That's unfortunate. But the downside is that if for me to show you things like this, like, this is, I wouldn't recommend the Krogan for camping. Obviously, if you're going to camp platinum or do a farming technique, the best people in the game are normally the destroyer. And the Demolisher, things along those lines, just um, the Geff Engineer for the turret maybe, the Asari Justicar, the Salarian Engineer. Those are camping people. So, I mean, it, but it's so boring. Platinum, playing Platinum like that is so boring, at least to me. Uh, everybody wants the money, but you don't want to just hate the game and not have fun with it. So to me, what's important is having fun with the game. Like, uh, and if I'm gonna play platinum, I'd rather play it with a group of friends or just play it and try to have some type of 
team synergy or teamwork at least. Um, and there's a couple, and that's where these role players will come in. So that's my only concern is that if I, there, th these videos might be pointless if no one can actually use this. I mean, of course you could try it, but if you can't use it and you just want to camp on platinum, then there's no point to even do videos like this. So I don't really know. Like I'll, I'll let you guys tell me what you think. I mean, obviously for entertainment purposes, I'm sure you guys are going to want to see platinum gameplays, but I mean, I just don't know. Um, <clears throat> when it comes down to it, it, it just platinum is just one of those things. It's it's really platinum is not hard, honestly, just because there's so many ways you can camp on platinum and have so much success compared to um, compared to running around. So that that's the thing. All right, now, but but with that being said, I will go ahead and tell you all about this. The Krogan, if you do want to have a lot of fun with platinum, running around and playing it like gold, um, it's very, it's just amazing. It is like it, it's it's harder, which is nice, and it's a lot of fun because it's all about like trying to have some type of team team synergy or have some type of. Um, just teamwork in general. So you stay with your teammates. You try to work together. You shoot the same enemies. You um, communicate or whatever it is. And, and you just do that. Now, the reason why this Krogan Vanguard is so important is that I would actually recommend this Krogan Vanguard for every Platinum team that is going to attempt to run around. He is a tank. He is a tank. And that is his job is to be a tank. And what's important is that, like, uh, if you're going to try to use things like the best build ever, which is that new Gef Engineer with the Piranha, like, that build is very effective and just is amazing for Platinum. But the downside of that build, the number one downside is just the fact that, well, what happens is that when you're playing, um, when you're playing with something like that, he's flimsy. And he'll, if he gets shot, he'll die, like, instantly. It's just what it is. So having something like this Krogan Vanguard, he can just stay behind the Krogan Vanguard, and your role as a Kro your role is is to literally just eat all the damage, is to be the tank and stay in that mentality where either what I'm see even though okay I know some guys are gonna say oh you didn't go for the objectives jumping, okay yeah I didn't but at the same time do you see how many enemies I am distracting right now I am keeping them on me as best as I can now I'm killing them too. But I'm also trying to keep them as much as I can on me. That's going to help my teammates because these enemies aren't going to want to run across the map to try to go get the teammates who are getting the objectives done. So I'm doing something for my team right now. That is the role of the Krogan is to play a mobile medic. That's very important as well. He is a mobile medic. Just like the infiltrators are medics, this guy is a mobile medic. He can fly across the map and pick people up like right now because I can just eat all this damage and then once I get them up I can just charge get all my shields back and then what I do is I stand literally right in front of all these enemies like this prime here and I try to get this prime to shoot me and only me so that my teammates can be safe and shoot the shoot the enemies from either a distance or use some really amazing technique like the new geth um, piranha build which you do want to be in close range, but you just you don't want to be shot. It's just that simple. You don't want to die, and he can die easily. So two things can happen with the Krogan. The Krogan can distract and give him all the you know all the free shots and all the free hits as he wants. And then if he does die, the Krogan just pick him right up. So that's the rule. Like the Krogan is so important. It's so important, and he just has like this amazing ability for stunning. Uh, his charge can stun like everything in the game for the most part. And phantoms are once again very annoying. Everybody knows that. And yeah, this guy wrecks phantoms. He really does. Just because when you charge a phantom, you stun the crap out of them and you shoot them until they die. Um, and if you have your teammates with you, you guys will all shoot them. So, like I said, platinum is just so much fun playing like this. It's not really fun when you camp and you just sit back and you just do things like that. It's just that's that's my beef with it. That's the thing. Like when as I play it, if I mean, if I want free credits, if I want to doing a platinum farming technique like the one on Firebase White or the one on Glacier, because there's actually a lot of them. You can do one on Glacier that's ridiculously easy if you stay in that really small room. 
I can literally, my friends can be like, hey, you want to farm some credits? And I'll be like, all right, whatever. And I will get on and just stand still and play on the, like, computer or something or watch TV <laughs> practically because <laughs> it's so easy. I mean, I can literally stand still and just kind of keep an eye on the TV and every time I see an enemy, just throw a grenade or something. Like, that's how easy farming platinum is. Um, but it's no fun. It's just like it puts me to sleep. If I, I can do maybe one or two rounds of farming, and then I'm just like, yeah, I'm done. I'm getting off. Like I can't do that. Like it's it. That's just what it is. So I think a lot of people might feel the same way as I do. And if you do feel that same way, then I'm gonna try to give you as many builds and techniques to um, have more success at hopefully playing um playing more like this. Playing playing to have fun to run around and and work together. Um, and that's just the thing. All right. So like I said, the Krogan's main job is to just this is his role. Like he's a role player. His role is to just be a tank. He can pick people up if they go down uh, very easily, and he is meant to just stand. Try. He's meant to stand in front of all the enemies and just take the blunt of the hit. Now the other thing that's really nice is that an amazing team, an amazing team in this game is the Corian Engineer, or just really anything with arc grenades. And the Krogan Vanguard. The radius on the Krogan Vanguard's charge is monstrous. It is so huge. And the radius on the arc grenades are also very, very large. So the arc grenades can be used to take down shields while the Krogan can detonate tech burst. And you'll just annihilate enemies doing that. Um, I mean, camping is one thing. Everybody knows that. If you camp on Platinum... Uh, the enemies will come to you, and you'll be in a defensive position to be ready for them. But rushing the enemies is very effective, too. The only thing that matters is just trying to just shoot. Like, just you see an enemy, and you just everyone tries to shoot it together. Um, if you shoot an enemy together, they'll die. Now, right there, that's a very good technique to do with the Krogan, is that you can always just melee a phantom so that she falls down on the ground once she loses her barriers. If that happens, it is amazing. Now, this is the best example in the game of Krogan being an amazing tank. Like, this right here will be that. Now, some people out there might say, oh, jumping. Why aren't you in the upload? You're not, oh, you're not in the upload. I hate that. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just think people, like, there's a lot of people who are just, like, really stupid out there. They don't understand, like, just watch what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be in the upload. But I am going, my role is not to be in the upload. My role is to stand right in front of all these enemies and try my heart out to get them all to acknowledge me, to shoot me, so that my teammates in the upload can stay back, stay behind cover, and not be bothered. This, the upload on this map, this middle upload on Goddess, is probably the one of the hardest ones in the game. There's a ton of really hard uploads, but this upload is one of the hardest for wave 10 gold like I, I i mean i've had so much trouble with that upload on wave 10 gold so any wave on platinum or it, wave 3 would be very hard for platinum with this upload but this krogan is going to make it a lot easier because since my teammates aren't just getting dropped because i'm sure if you've ever had this upload on gold are on platinum you might know that like you get so swarmed there's nothing you can do the spawn is literally right there in that room it's in that room so if you rock it if you kill them all whatever it is they're just gonna spawn right in front of you and you're like this is ridiculous but that is the point is that like it's ridiculously hard and like when I my job right there was to literally just stand there and say hey shoot me come to me don't kill my teammates that's the thing. So that is his role, like I said. That is this. That is the best example you will see in this whole video of working as a Krogan Vanguard. Now, of course, I would recommend if you're going to play as a Krogan Vanguard or any Vanguard, you should probably maybe be host, the hosting player, so that you cannot get in the Vanguard glitch. But, but... The Krogan Vanguard is really the only Vanguard I recommend anyone to play. Because you can play him off host. You don't really need to be host. You can all, There's always a risk of Vanguard glitching. But it's so much less likely as the Krogan Vanguard. Because he's a tank. He's really hard to kill. People, like, like any other Vanguard is easy to kill, to be honest. Or pretty easy to kill. 
and if they go down and you charge, your Vanguard glitched, and you're just screwed. It's just that simple. With the Krogan, it's like if you're gonna, if you know you're gonna die, you're like, okay, I am dead. I'm not host. And with any Vanguard, I do recommend doing this as well. But with the Krogan especially, if you're going to die and you know you're screwed, just die, guys. As a just, just die. Just go down because that will save you uh, that risk of going into the Vanguard glitch. If it only happens when you charge as you die, so that's the thing you don't want that to happen especially on platinum you don't want to have to quit and come back or waste equipment or whatever it is you don't want to have to do that so the best thing to do is just to not just to let yourself die uh when you're really gonna die like i'm talking about like you're at that little bar of health that never really happens much as the krogan though it's very hard to get down that low to get down to that one last little sliver of health because his his charge is good enough to um well his charge is long it takes like five seconds at least uh sometimes even more but normally you can eat like about 10 seconds worth of damage from like multiple enemies i mean i can be shot by like two like a hunter and two pyros or or like two hunters and two pyros and and maintain my shields and health the whole time like they just cannot touch me it's just what it is um so that's the thing like i said overall Having a decent Krogan Vanguard on your team for Platinum matters so much, so much. Now, his biggest weakness uh, weakness in the game, the Krogan Vanguard's number one weakness is Banshees. You got to keep that in mind. Banshees are the worst for him because if it's just like any Vanguard. If you charge a Banshee, you're screwed. Like right there, I was terrified that I was going to get grabbed because um, it can happen. It can happen so easily. On platinum especially and it, and, and it, if you guys don't know but the grab synergy where like a banshee can grab you actually goes up the percentage goes up depending on your placement on the scoreboard so if you're the number one scoring player like it's a hundred percent chance of grabbing you I don't really know if that's true or not that's some stuff that I I, I heard about and read about on the forums um, but that's just pretty much what people say. They say that's what happens. And it kind of makes sense because I always feel like, at least, Banshees come after me more than anyone. Like, they see me and they're just like, they want some Krogan dick or something. I don't really know. But, um, that's, that, that's what always happens. But anyway, uh, like I said, so just you want to avoid the Banshees for Platinum. You really do. And unfortunately, like, uh, like I said, his job is to try to, like, be in front of his teammates and just roll around but honestly guys um in the later waves when these banshees come because if you're going to play platinum i really do I, i'll say it again i've said it a couple times now but i really do recommend starting against geth because when you start against geth the first faction is geth the second faction is cerberus the third faction is reapers so you don't see reapers the wave seven that makes it I'm, uh, that makes it really easy on yourself for not having to deal with banshees early on i mean nobody really wants to deal with banshees um but in these later waves, the Krogan really has to, like, run like hell from Banshees. Um, or at least stay enough with his teammates so that if he does get grabbed, well, like, they can maybe knock him loose. But that's still very risky. You just don't want that to happen. If the Krogan gets grabbed and dies, the chance of, like, mission success goes down dramatically. Just like if anyone died. But in my opinion, if, the, if, if your Krogan Vanguard dies... It's even worse because at least with the Krogan Vanguard, you know that at any point you see the Krogan in a group of enemies, you can run to those group of, uh, to that group of enemies and just start decimating the enemies and not really get, sh not really get shot or anything along those lines. Because you just know like, oh, okay, I'm behind the Krogan. Everything should pay attention to him. That's just how Vanguards work. Um, that is the point of the Vanguards in the game. That's why they're Vanguards. Is Vanguards are frontline soldiers that are pretty much meant to go and die for <laughs> like that is what it is like they're meant to stand and in, in, in guard everyone so that's just the thing that's the way that um he needs to be played and if you're playing with a krogan vanguard you should follow him around and in these later waves if possible someone should maybe try to distract the banshee why like maybe a couple people follow the krogan just fall. I, this is my motto when I play as a Krogan. I tell my friends this all the time. I'm like, all right, guys, follow the dinosaur. Let's go. It's just what it is. Follow the dinosaur, and you will be fine. Um, and they help me, and I help them. Like an arc grenade will save my life at times, and just things along the, uh, those lines. So that's just what it is. All right, we're gonna rock a little bit this wave. 
like like I hey, another thing too. Don't be stingy with your rockets for platinum. Rocketing wave nine and eight, uh, especially when you're running around and not camping, is just extremely effective. It really helps to make the wave a lot easier um, and faster. So that's just what it is. If you guys don't know, the way this game works is that it goes off of like a grand point total, where it's like let's say uh, I don't know what the numbers are, but let's just say that it's a total like you have to reach. Um, 2,500 points on wave 9 of platinum like total points each enemy is worth a selective amount of points so banshees and bosses in general are worth the most points so killing them is effective for getting more points the downside is it takes lo way longer to kill them um, and killing smaller enemies like really whack ones like that's why in like the one platinum gameplay if you remember with the paladin I fought, I don't know what it was, it was, uh, I believe it was uh, 20 to 21 Geth rocket troopers, because they're worth so little points that when you kill them, like, they just, you, either you're going to have to fight, let's say, 40 Geth rocket troopers, or you'll have to fight, like, 8 or 9 bosses. That's just the way to think of it. That's how the game works. So, using your rockets on big groups of enemies is very, very, is very effective. It really will cut down a lot of those like um those points all right so we just got objects and i was super pissed because my buddy chocolate milk who is uh, a clan leader and a total douchebag decided to grab it and look like an idiot on the camera because here's the thing guys the krogan it should be the one to grab it it's just that simple he's a tank he can't really die and he can headbutt it into the he can headbutt it in this is his objective Krogan's really like pizza. That's just what it is, guys. Krogan's love pizza. And he is a beast at doing this. I mean, look how fast that was. Um, and just your risk of, like, getting just um, mowed down. Like, I mean, if, like, that Gap Infiltrator, if he would have been shot at all, he would have been pfft, dead. And, like, the Krogan, I would have just, like, laughed at the enemies and scored my pizza, or delivered my pizza and then, like, went and um, collected my debt or whatever. So, I don't know. Alright guys, uh, so that was pretty much wave 10, very easy, very fast, um, I love pizza delivery, I love escort, uh, don't like uploads, <laughs> that's for sure, uploads devices for platinum is definitely very, uh, I just kinda wish they would take devices out the game, honestly, I think the, I think devices are, like, really dumb, especially now that, um, especially now that, the, like, the, the infiltrator is nerfed, and, uh, well, the Infiltrator's Cloak is, like, not as long if you go for damage. That's kind of lame. And just, I don't know, devices are, like, the worst. Uploads, I think there should be uploads just because uploads are definitely challenging. And why not have a challenging objective? But, all right. So this is going to be the Extraction Wave. And I'm going to take the first rocket right away just to kill a massive group down there before they clustered up too much. Now, I really, on this map, I really highly recommend staying on this top little area uh, if possible, but right here I'm gonna make a really dumb decision. I thought, well, I should be able to kill this phantom. And all right, so I'm gonna charge her real quick. And no, I didn't charge her. What? Ah! <laughs> like, oh my god, are you serious? I mean, that is stupid. I was so angry when that happened because it, I, that's like the dumbest thing in the game. I, if you guys don't know what that was, is that sometimes when you charge you get the animation for charging but it just doesn't count like and you your your recharge you know you don't even have to have a recharge it's like an instant recharge because the charge never really counted but what happened was is that i charged right point blank to a phantom but didn't hit her and didn't stun her and because of that i mean this right here will show you how this team is dependent on that krogan now, we're still, I'm going to ruin it for you. We're still going to get mission success because all my teammates have literally still like five meta gels. But without the Krogan helping them, without the Krogan like there to like <laughs> eat some damage, like these weaklings, the Corian male engineer and this Gaff infiltrator, and uh, I don't even know what the other guy was playing as, but all these people are, they're just going to get like just annihilated. This is what it is. So. Um, oh, Gef Engineer, Gef Infiltrator, and Quarry Male Engineer. Like, they, they're they just too weak, um, fitness-wise to, like, really handle, like, all of that. The Phantom, the Prime, the Banshee, the, the Atlas, or whatever the hell it was. Uh, the Hunters. They're just too weak. But they did play it smart. They went to the room, and they're going to make a break for it right here and pretty much get the partial. So, 
whatever. Thanks, Bioware, for really stupid glitches that get me instant stabbed, but hey. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, Krogan and Vanguard is such an important role player for Platinum. If you're going to try to run around, I don't know how I really feel about Platinum yet because I don't really know if my videos can even help some of you guys because you might just not be able to use some of these techniques. But if you can, let me know and just tell me what you want to see. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to me if you haven't. Please like this video. And, yeah, have a nice day.